Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Don and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today we are finally getting our first look at the Pimax Crystal. And I can't thank Pimax enough for sending this to the studio. You guys know I love VR headsets. I, I got a lot of them back there and well, I really love the ones that are innovative and quite frankly the ones that are coming from companies that are pushing boundaries. And for all their flaws, Pimax definitely does that. They, they've been out there pushing wide FOV and higher resolutions for years, so I cannot wait to see what they've cooked up with the crystal. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the box, but real quick before we do, you know, I've been reading a lot about some packaging issues that, well, people are receiving their crystals and they're opening them up to find a broken clip. Now, Pimax did, you know, revamp their internal packaging. They've got some new foam pieces in the box to help with any pressure or damage that might be caused uh, from something, you know, boxes sitting on top. Um, you know, there's also a couple of extra pieces in the box now, like a, a power adapter and a USB hub that are going to help with the battery charge issue. So really cool that they, you know, took notice of that and fixed it before the final retail versions really started shipping out. So, all right, I'm chomping at the bit to get into this. I cannot wait to see what they sent. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, you got to love that when it's got that tight vacuum seal on it. There we go. And pop. There we go. All right. So here we go have it. There is the Pimax crystal in its box. And, you know, nice uh, packaging here. Everything is nice and tight. Uh, yeah, the last, I, I don't know, I think it was my 8KX, but my, like, 5K, I remember my original 5K, the packaging, I was just kind of like, huh? So, th this looks good, nice and tight. Here are those foam pieces that I was talking about. Uh, you can see that they actually put this little foam square around the strap to kind of protect that clip and then they put this in the front so really hoping that that's gonna solve for people's breakages uh, you know that they've been seeing when they get their headsets so all right let's take this a piece at a time here now these two pieces I believe are exactly the same maybe I don't know we're gonna find out uh, let's see what we have so all right looks like this is yeah that is the uh, secondary battery and the battery bracket here so this is i believe what you are going to charge your battery on um and let's see Yes, that is exactly what that is. So very cool there that they do actually give you the second battery in the package. Um, all right, um, so moving on, set that aside. This is just another battery like we just saw there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, bring the headset out, but we're not going to take a look at the headset just yet. Uh, we're, we are going to go ahead and set that aside for just a second. Um, this right here, it does look to be a, a secondary pad, which is nice that they do include multiple facial interfaces and, you know, I mean, facial pads, I'm sorry. Uh, so this one, man, it's got a nice feel to it. Um, and, you know, this is going to be your thin pad where you can see on the headset right now is the the comfort uh, pad so very cool there now what I really wanted to look at before we looked at the actual headset is these I, I am very curious about the new Pimax controllers here. So, you know, as you guys have seen me say in other videos that I've done recently, like when I was doing the DP uh, VR E4, I really think it's awesome that as an industry, everything's kind of standardizing now to that 
meta touch controller form factor. You know, I, I mean, it just, it's, it's nice when you do have that, that very, you know, close parity. Now these, they, they do seem to have the ABXY and you've got the, the system buttons, but it does look like there's a couple of extra system buttons on there. So it's going to be interesting to see what those do. Uh, you know, you got your grips here. Those feel good. Uh, all the button placements feel good. So not hating on those at all. They've got a decent weight, a little light for my taste. I do like a little bit more heft in my controller. And since these, you know, um, basically are rechargeable controllers, we're not not going to have that extra weight of the battery in there. So maybe over time I might be able to find some, you know, sort of grips or something that'll give it a little bit more weight, but overall they feel fantastic. I mean, they, they, it's like if you've used a, a Quest 2 or, you know, a Quest Pro, obviously you won't have the ring, but you still have that same setup in the uh, button configuration. These are going to feel instantly familiar to you. So, you know, that, that was it. I, you know, the, the earlier Pimax headsets did not come with controllers. So I was really interested to see what they've done here with those controllers. So, all right, uh, back into here, we've got a couple more little boxes and that's what I thought. These are probably just cables and yeah, I'm not even going to open these. That that's just USB-C cables. Uh, nothing fun to look at there. And what do we have in this little guy? Okay, so this little guy, I believe, is the additional uh, dock that they, they have now started to include. And let's see if I can never get all this plastic off. And yes, so there we go. Nice little USB four port dock. Uh, so apparently that is actually gonna help with some of the uh, battery charging issues that they have been having recently. There, there were some users in early headsets that were reporting that the batteries were draining even on the cable connected to the PC. So apparently some of that solves it. Obviously we're doing an unboxing today. I'm not really gonna get into all the technical specs of of the headset that will be in the full review, which you guys should see probably in the next couple of weeks. I'm really gonna play with this. There's a lot of stuff going on with this headset. So I really wanted to put it through its paces and, and kind of play with it a little bit uh, before you know I start giving my full opinions on you know all the little things here and there. So um, other than that, looks like we've got another box back here and that's probably it. And I'm assuming in this box, we've just got our you know our cables so and uh, and the power adapter yeah so it looks like a power adapter once again who wants to see a plug not going to take that out of the box uh, and then we have our cabling here um, and you know I gotta say the cable um, feels very familiar uh, looks very similar to the other Pimax cables now I want to say I read somewhere if you have their their fiber cable which is a very thin cable such as this one uh, that that can be used I will test that out during the review because I do already have that run into my uh, recording area so it'd be nice if I don't have to you know mess with that and take that cable out I can just swap it in so that would be great so we'll definitely be testing that um, um, overall, cable does not feel super heavy, even coiled, uh, so I don't think it's going to be too cumbersome. Um, and it looks like it's probably got quite a bit of length to it, uh, probably the same length as that fiber cable. In fact, it looks very similar to the fiber cable. So um, let's see here, looks like we've got a, uh, an old school <laughs> USB, uh, uh, USB 2, I mean, sorry, USB 3 cord. Uh, don't know what that goes to just yet. Possibly that uh, battery charger. And this, um, let's see here. And last but not least, this little bag right here is just some plug adapters. So, all right. There's all the uh, superfluous stuff in a nutshell, but this is what we wanted to see. So, here we go. All right. There is the Pimax Crystal. And, you know, I got to say, I've got five other Pimax headsets, and, and I do use my 8KX quite often. That is my preferred headset for sim racing, flying, anything that I do in my motion simulator. 
Um, this one's actually a little bit smaller, it looks like. So that is cool. You know, you don't have the full hammerhead shark going on here like you see up there. Um, so, you know, and, and I will say it's a lot, lot lighter weight, uh, you know, compared to the, to the 8KX, that thing really has some nice balance to the weight as well. So very cool there. All right, so taking a look at the headset itself, uh, looks like, you know, on the top here, we've got a couple of buttons. Uh, uh, this is your IPD adjustment. Now, when they get the new firmware updated, it is in beta right now. This thing does have eye tracking. It is going to have full auto IPD, which is something I've been waiting for in any headset. You know, people who demo headsets all the time, one of the worst things is setting people's IPD because they don't know what their IPD is. Come on. So really cool that they are going to use the eye tracking to just kind of snap an image and boom, there you go. The headset's just going to set itself up. So awesome there. Um, and other buttons, just your power and your volume rocker here. It looks like there are a couple of switches on the unit or at least one here that I can see. And I believe this is how you switch from PC mode to the uh, standalone mode, which also is soon to be activated. So, you know, they are shipping the headset out. Uh, hardware wise, it's finished. There, there are still some things that they are working on software wise in the back end that we're going to start seeing through updates. I know a lot of that stuff is already in beta testing. So really exciting to see how fast they can push that out, get the standalone mode working, you know, stuff like that. Um, Otherwise, you know, pretty similar strapping system to the, uh, you know, the 8KX, the 5K Super here. Um, nice back pad, kind of get that out of the way. A uh, little bit of a redesign on the back pad. I kind of like that. Um, the strap itself is a very, very thick plastic now. So that is also very cool. Uh, I love the fact that they stayed with the, the comfort kit uh, from, the, from the Vision series. That is nice. Um, and then there we go. So there is the first set of lenses. Um, you know, this is also going to have interchangeable lenses. One set of lenses is going to give you the clearer, crisper, sharper picture with a little bit of loss of FOV. The other set of lenses, which eventually should come in, um, those are actually going to kind of lessen that PPD a little bit and kind of give us back that almost full wide Pimax field of view that we're expecting from their headsets. So uh, other than that, everything else, I mean, hardware wise, looks all sturdy. Uh, interesting. They now have this uh, that was definitely not on any of the other headsets. Uh, I have heard from some people that, you know, they have removed this and plugged it directly in. Uh, it does look like it's just a quick breakout. So very cool there. And we've got our premium audio attached. So, you know, guys, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I, I don't know what more I can say about the crystal other than I am super excited to get this thing hooked up and test it out. So, in the next couple of weeks, do expect a full review here on the channel. There is a lot to go through on this headset. I might actually break it up into two parts. I don't know, you know, just, just testing the different various features and functions of the headset. But bet your bottom dollar, as soon as that's ready, I'll let everybody know with a nice post. And uh, thank you so much for coming by to watch this uh, unboxing. I know unboxings are usually not the most, uh, you know, fun things to watch, but trust me, we're gonna get there. I, I'm gonna to be testing the heck out of this thing and you guys are going to hear about it every step of the way but for me that is going to do it tonight guys thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far and uh, i will see you in the next one this is don signing off